Hi guys, and welcome to part four of this $100 per day case study, uh, where I'm building a fresh business from scratch uh, to show you how to build a real affiliate business that's making $100 per day uh, as a beginner, okay? And uh, please do make sure you go and watch these um, uh, videos here in this uh, playlist, okay? Uh, obviously, there's no point you watching part four or part five, part six before you watch part one. So make sure you go to, uh, click the link below, come to this playlist here, make sure you watch this uh, opening video here, a brand new affiliate business, part one, watch that first so you understand what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and how I'm going to do it. In this video here, I'm going to deep dive into um, uh, my site. I'm going to show you what I'm editing, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and why. Uh, so so far, guys, I've now completed. Uh, I've now completed week one and week two. They're done, dusted. Okay. I'm now going to move on to week three and four. So next week, I'll cover week three and four and what I'm doing there. So inside week one and two. What I've done now is I have used a combination of the AI blogging bootcamp, uh, the uh, the bootcamp for blogging, uh, and also the YouTube bootcamp and the AI video creation bootcamp, um, the, all, all that trading in there in terms of SEO ranking, creating content and keywords and all that stuff, right? I've used those in combination. I've created two blog posts and two videos, okay? One blog post per week and one video per week. Uh, and that's what I've done so far. Uh, my video is getting organic traffic from YouTube search, which is fantastic. Um, I've encountered a few problems here and there that I'm showing in this video here. And so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip the screen and show you what, what, what I've done this week. Um, I'll show you what I'm doing behind the scenes to improve my site, to make it more SEO friendly, to make the, the, the user intent, the user flow better, and so on and so forth, okay? Uh, building an online business is very, very doable, very simple, and you'll be amazed how simple, but how, how simple the process is and how quickly you can rank and how quickly you can traffic if you do the work. Okay, so guys, with that in mind, I'll flip the screen now, I'll jump in, and we'll get we'll, we'll get going um, with the ne this next part, okay? Okay, so there are a number of things I want to change on my site to make it more up-to-date, uh, to make it convert better, to make it flow better, and I'll continue to nurture this, to grow this, to, um, uh, to change things around as I progress through the Marketing Academy, okay? Um, so, as I mentioned before, I'm now inside um, here, inside the Marketing Academy, I am working through the 180 day plan. Uh, I have now completed weeks one and two. And uh, so I'll show you what I'm doing right now and then I'll move on to week three and four uh, in the next two weeks, okay? So uh, I'm gonna cover uh, what I'm gonna be improving here to imp improve uh, the user experience, the customer flow, uh, the SEO and so on, okay? But first, uh, I want to basically publish my next two pieces of content. Uh, I've got this blog post right here. And I also have a video here as well on my channel uh, that I'm going to go ahead and publish now. I've got some, you know, ba a basic description, uh, nothing special. Uh, some uh, some tags down here, again, nothing special. Uh, and um, you can see here, despite the fact that my SEO score is very low, it doesn't really matter for for this for this uh, for this particular niche. Um, it's so micro that the videos will, will be found. Um, so uh, there's not much to add here as such. Uh, just bog standard SEO stuff for YouTube, and that's it. So I'll go ahead here now and go to uh, public and I'll click on done and save that to public. So now that the, the video is now published and uh, what I'll also do is go here and I will publish this blog post here as well. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and uh, go back here and yeah, so I'll go here and click on uh, publish. Now I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do one thing here now uh, that's gonna probably confuse you a little bit, uh, but I'm doing this for good reason. If you look at here, here you can see um, here you can see the URL, okay? This here is also known as known as the permalink. Now, when I click on publish, this is gonna be the, the permanent link for this blog post, okay? So here you can see I've, I've named it Bumper Horse Races, okay? Uh, now, the keyword I'm going for is what is bumper horse racing, okay? Uh, but I don't want that as my uh, I don't want that as my permalink because it's longer, it's a bit messier. I, I want to keep my permalink short, okay? Uh, but so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and publish this now, like so. Because now this is live, is is live on the site. But I can afterwards now I can go and change the title, okay? So now I'm going to change the title here and click on update. All right? You can see that the permalink here stays the same. If I refresh this page here. The permalink stays the same, but the title changes. So now, when I go to uh, the blog post here, here you can see that it's still called Bumper Horse Races, but when I refresh the page here, you can see the title has now changed. What is Bumper Horse Racing? Okay. Um, so uh, so th this here means that now the, the user intent is clear. So when someone searches for this now, 
Uh, actually, sorry, it should be what is a bundle race. Sorry, I'll go back to fix that here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now when someone comes to this page here and they see this blog post, they are then congruent because that, that is the keyword I'm going for. To add in the question mark there. There we go. Third time lucky. Um, okay, so now it means that when I go here, I'm just going to save and preview. Okay, so now when they come to this post here, they get the, the user intent is confirmed because when someone's searching for what is a bumper race, okay, and they find this post, then obviously they want to see bumper, bumper, bumper in the actual, um, uh, in above default, okay. And you can see this blog post here, very simple, short, I think it's only about sort of eight or 900 words, okay. Now I know that goes against my SEO checklist inside Tao, but I've got good reason, here's why. Uh, because you want to do some basic research, okay? So this here, this the search term itself, the search term here, the intent intent behind the search term is very, 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 very basic. Okay, the answer is very, very basic. So I don't I, I don't need or want or I'm, I'm able to create like a two or three or four thousand word um, article on a question that's so simplistic. And I can confirm that by going to Google and search for the keyword. And what you'll find here is that if I actually look at the top two, three, four uh, results here, they're all very, very short, okay? This one here is just like a part of a glossary. It doesn't even show up here, so you can actually find it, uh, which in itself shows you that it's, it's a very poor quality. Here you can see this post here, that's it. That's, that, this is the competition right here, you can see. That, that's all there is, okay? And this little section here, there's nothing else. That is the entire blog post, okay? This one here. Same thing. This is that. That's it. So you can see uh, this means that th this sir, this uh, particular keyword it doesn't warrant anything longer because my blog post now, as it stands here, is way more valuable than the others because it's much longer um, and it's packed full of relevant questions. Okay, uh, I've I've even included a simple uh, lay bet strategy for bumper races, and I'm answer I'm answering certain questions. So these questions here I took from the search results here. Uh, so I took here. You can see. Uh, you can see this here. People also asked. I combined these quest these questions here and added them in here. So you can see how long is the race? What is the difference between uh, bumper and hurdles? Here you can see here. Um, how long is a bumper race? What is the difference between uh, bumper and hurdle? So I've, in I've included all that inside my, my post. Okay, uh, just to, just to kind of try and give Google all the information in one post. So I'm now going to go ahead and, and copy this uh, copy this link here. Head over to my search console. And I'm just going to inspect this here. I'm going to pop in here and click on enter and so now index this now clarity here guys you don't need to do this i just do this for a bit of fun um so i'm gonna go here and cl click on request indexing um uh, google will index your blog post very quickly by itself by you doing nothing but i'm just showing you this here so you can have a, a slightly quicker way of doing it okay also because it'd be quite fun for me if this uh, ranks while i'm doing this video okay uh, so i'll clarify again you do not need uh, to uh, do this here to get your um, to get your post indexed okay because here you can see uh, during live testing indexing issues are detected on your url so i can see here view Okay, DNS server unresponsive. Okay, so what I'll do here, I'm going to uh, go ahead and leave this for now. I'm going to clear my cache here, just to be sure. And then I'll come back here and just pop it in here. Let's see if it works this time. <clears throat> okay. Um, so you can see I've got an issue here somewhere. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, troubleshoot this. I'm going to probably contact my support and see if this is an error uh, that I can see. Uh, my guess is it might, it probably is just a tech, a temporary issue. Yes, yeah, so you can see here, page cannot be accessed, uh, not available due to a site-wide issue. Okay, so here is a site-wide thing. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go over to SiteGround and speak to the support and see what they say. Okay, so I've uh, submitted a ticket to, to SiteGround, so I'll give them, you know, uh, half an hour or so to reply. Uh, in the meantime, I'll just continue on with this here, okay? So now that my post is live, uh, you can see my stats here. Um, not my stats, uh, my meta description here and my title and so on. Uh, again, I don't pay too much attention to this SEO score. It doesn't really matter so much because as long as you cover the basics, you're fine. Um, and so that's the, the, the post and so on covered. The post there, video there, done and dusted.
Okay, now, uh, on to my sites. I want to change a few things. So, for example, uh, if you actually look at this uh, this uh, homepage here, right? Uh, this call to action, this here's a link, but it doesn't it doesn't look like that, does it? Um, so you can see here uh, that um, I've also got a spell mistake here. You can see uh, trading the betting exchanges on the UK horse markets uh, is not an easy task. That should be task, right? So again, small small things like that creep in, okay? Uh, again, it's not not a big deal. It happens all the time. It's absolutely no problem. Um, so let me just quickly jump in here and I'll fix that. <clears throat> Front page. <clears throat> Uh, I'll just go ahead and delete that there. Okay, so now uh, this here, let our simple trading hack help. This here, it's a very, very poor call to action. If I am critical of myself, that's because it's not obviously a link. It's not on the line. Uh, there's no, there's no, no thing saying click here or you know click this button to do X, Y, and Z. It's a very poor call to action. Okay, and also it's not very obvious. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on here and go to button, drag our button here. And then copy this here, paste that in there, and then copy this uh, link here. Uh, as you can see, the link here is actually in the, the button part here, inside the inline text. Copy this here, and then come back here and pop that in here, like so. Okay, and so I want to rewrite this um, here. So I'll say, Access our simple trading hack now. Okay, and I'll make that bold. Full width and maybe make it bigger. Yeah, that's fine. And I'll click on here and do that. There we go. And so yeah, so that, that now this here stands out much much more. Okay. Uh, I was going to add a little bit of a, a shadow here as well. Uh, there. there we go. Okay. And so here are my posts. And then here's all. Uh, don't know to start. Explore the simple hack to increase your daily profits. Yeah, that's fine. Um, okay. And also what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and here the, the menu itself isn't very alluring, right? Uh, so if I go, I'm just going to click, check the mobile view here real quick first. <clears throat> Okay, that's fine. And so you can see here on the mobile view itself, right? Um, about us, contact us, they don't really need to be there, I don't think, because I've already got contact us down here. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and move the about us page down to the bottom. And I'm going to change the start here to something like um, a, tr a trading hack or download this thing or whatever, right? Um, in fact, I could actually maybe even remove that because I've got here the trading hack. Um, so what I'll do here, I'll go into the menu. <clears throat> And go here to appearance, uh, go to menus. And then here I might actually go ahead and uh, I'll just remove this about us one and save here. And I'll go and choose the footer menu, select, and then come here, go to find the about us, add that here, and I'll just remove the us parts, just have about. So, not sure why the contact us isn't there. It should be there, but I'll add it there, mate. <clears throat> like so, come back here to the footer, no, to the main menu, sorry. And I'll also remove the uh, contact us. And I'll go here and preview this. Okay, so now that's gone. Okay, so it's not showing that. So this this actually may not be the menu as such. That may be in manually added. Okay, I'm going to try and figure out what's uh, going on here. Why is, why is it not showing? I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, so all it was was that I had uh, customized this uh, footer here. So down here, when I go to edit footer here, 
what I had done is I had uh, added the global fields here one by one. Um, so uh, here on the global fields, I had actually added in here one by one uh, privacy policy like so, and then done this. So I'd actually manually added them in. Uh, so I'll go ahead and put them back in again, in, in here again, so you can see. Um, so let's do it again here, so it's done. <clears throat> Okay, and then I'll just go and add the last one here as a manual link. So this last one here, I'll just link. I'll link here as a normal link for now. <clears throat> Underline that, underline. Okay, there you go. Done, done. So that's there. And so now, so now everything's looking good. And um, what I'll do now is save this here, like so. <clears throat> and now, what I'm also going to do is what I want to do here is I want to uh, probably not right now. But later, in a, in a week or two, I'm going to add this here, the A to Z. Do you remember the, the glossary I made? I'm going to add this here to the menu bar. Uh, so I'll have like a, a trading glossary on the menu bar. So that, that means that people will come here. But first, I, mean, I want to add a, a few more things here um, during this week as well. I've also added in uh, one or two more uh, words here. I've added furlong and steeplechase, uh, steeplechase racing. So I've, I've added those in here as well. Uh, because you'll notice here, in my latest blog post that I just published here, I have actually started linking now. So here you can see this word here, furlongs. Boom. I'm linking that to, boom, right here inside the glossary. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to actually go and um, make sure that for every blog post I have, I'm going to start linking back uh, to that uh, glossary page. And what I can also do uh, during this follow ne ne this next week coming now, I'm going to go ahead and actually start um, going back to all the blog posts, this one here and previous ones. And I'm going to go ahead and start linking words like that, like this word here, this word here, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to start linking more and more back to that glossary page. Okay. Because uh, that way... Um, uh, that way, uh, I start making that habit. And I start building up more and more internal links. And also, guys, I want to show you here from uh, my last video. Here you can see uh, this last video here I posted on the 15th of May. You can see I've had 129 views, which is great. Uh, I've had 100% uh, likes as well. No down like, uh, down thumbs or thumb, thumbs down. If I go here to my analytics, analytics you can see here 71% um, of my traffic comes from YouTube search, which is perfect. Okay, that's exactly what I want. Okay. Um, you know, will it continue? I have no idea. You know, the, uh, some videos go do well, others don't. Okay, so it depends on uh, many factors. Uh, but you can see 71% is from YouTube search, which is great. Okay, um, and so uh, you can see uh, average watch time uh, is 51%. Uh, view duration is one and a half minutes. That's great again. Um, so yeah, so I can show you that there. Uh, so right now, uh, what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do uh, in the next week or so. Obviously, uh, now I'm going to go inside here, inside week three and four of the Marketing Academy. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, watch these next uh, few lessons here uh, because I've got some uh, inside here, path one, path two. I've got some very, very clear tasks inside here uh, to complete depending on which path I'm going to take. Okay, uh, so here you can see if I skip here, here to one of the last um, uh, here. Here you can see... Uh, here you can see I've got some very clear paths here to decide on and to do in terms of, you know, creating a welcome video um, and develop, developing my homepage and so on, develop, developing my About Me page and so on and so forth, getting a logo designed. That's all part of the next two weeks, okay? Um, so, uh, but what, what what I also want to do here is here, where, where I've got my lead magnet right here, I need to make this better. Uh, I need to actually change my lead magnet itself because I've currently got an old one uh, that I created a long, long, long time ago. So I'm going to create a, a new one there and and also, I'm going to start develop, developing my funnel, okay? Um, 
because obviously uh, as part of Tau uh, and the Martin Academy, we, we developed this uh, this funnel right here, as you can see, right? We, we developed this whole funnel here and then some. Uh, obviously we are now right at the very top here and over the course of the next uh, couple of weeks and so on, as move as I move through the Martin Academy, week three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, so on, I start building out money pages, review pages, uh, split testing, emails and so on and so forth, right? Um, and the automatic commissions start flowing uh, week by week by week. But right now, for now, guys uh, i've got uh, two videos posted i've got two uh, blog posts posted um and i'll move forward from here okay and this is the journey a little bit here and there do what you can when you can and things start progressing you fine-tune things you change things you move things around you get errors like this, this here which are a pain in the ass okay uh, but you know, they happen that, that's part of the journey okay um so obviously uh, i'll let you know what they say uh, next week, uh, when I get back to my next update and see what um, my hosting said, uh, they will uh, they actually or, or they they will reply to me very soon, um, and so I'll let you know what they say. But you know, again, it doesn't matter. Okay, this error here, it will be temporary. Okay, it will be fixed. It might take a day or so. Okay, uh, but the, it, by by in a week from now, okay, this will be fixed and I'll continue on. Uh, this here is not going to stop me. I'm now not going to go. Oh my god, it doesn't work. Oh, and just stop. No, you keep working. Okay, I'm going to start. I'm going to start creating another blog post, another one, another one. Even if this error stays here for two weeks, it doesn't matter. Okay, you just keep moving forward. Um, keep working with your hosting and so on or whatever you're doing. Um, and you move forward from there. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and continue, continue, continue on and start uh, week three four of the marketing academy and progress uh, through there and build up my funnel and start earning commissions as a marketer okay and uh, sure enough just as i uh, finished making this video i got a reply from uh, cyclone supports and they said that uh, they had flushed my google uh, the, my, my dns propagation here you can see uh, they went here and they flushed this for me uh, which is great and now they can see here boom they can see that my page has been indexed right here okay so that's good